Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and I just got back from HCS Charlotte. I got to watch what I consider to be one of the greatest series in Grand Finals of all time. I think the only way that this could be beaten is if it literally happens again, but it's the Grand Finals of the World Championship. The roster that is FaZe Clan now was pretty much constructed just to beat Optic Gaming, and it really looked like that was going to happen, and we may have seen a member from FaZe shooting bodies in some of the first games before they got reverse swept and sit down to the Elim bracket, where they eventually beat SSG and got to play Optic again in the Grand Finals, and those games were absolutely wild, to be completely honest. But Optic won, and that's, that's pretty, you know, that's three in a row for them. So we'll see what happens as uh, the, the tournaments go on, but that phase team is only going to get better, I think, unless they completely fall apart. Who knows? But anyways, other than that, we had so much information come out this weekend regarding Season 3. A lot of things were confirmed. We're getting... Oh, they they under-promise, and they're over-delivering again, 343 that is. We're getting at least one extra map, and that's Chasm. That wasn't announced before that. We got to see all the HCS skins, a lot of the SPI armor. Uh, they did the show match. We got to see gameplay of the new maps and modes, and man, they looked fantastic. I got to see them. Another thing that I think is super cool is the Season 3 trailer. Man, I, I don't know. I guess they're using Blur. I know Halo liked a tweet saying Blur cutscene, so I assume that's who made these, but let's talk about how much of a jump in quality these cutscenes are. The community has asked since, like, Halo Wars 2 to get Blur cutscenes again, and I cannot believe how good this looks. I was actually watching the Destiny 2 Lightfall cinematic stuff, and I was thinking, man, that looks good. I wish Halo looked like that. And look what happened. So you guys can thank me. I think the event was a success. There was a lot of eyes on there. Just looking at the YouTube channel for Halo, their Season 3 launch trailer has 268,000 views. That's pretty good compared to everything else on the page. Nothing's really gotten that close since, like, Forge, and that was five months ago. Looking at the HCS page on YouTube, their Year 2 Partner Team Bundles video has almost 10,000 views, and that is is, you know, pretty much everything above every other video except for the one with the Grand Finals team comms. So that's sick. It looks like there's a little bit of interest in Halo. It really feels like there's a lot of uh, marketing kind of being pushed behind this Season 3. I know a lot of other YouTubers have been coming out saying that it feels like a relaunch and whatnot. To me, it doesn't really, this doesn't feel like a relaunch yet. It feels just like the foundation has been set. I still think that Season 4 is going to be bigger than Season 3. So we'll see what happens. It's been a wild ride this last year and uh, however many months. Been pretty crazy to see Halo. The ups and downs, but it really does feel like this is a turning point. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited to see what happens. There's a lot coming, you know, from all the leaks and stuff. Really with Season 3 and going into the seasonality, you know, the seasons are going to be three months. So I don't know how much leaks we're going to get or if they're even going to matter at that point. Like it feels just different now but that's gonna do it for the video ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts in the comments down below are you excited did you enjoy all this stuff i had a ton of fun i wish that the other events were more spread out i know like the next three are in texas and that's kind of kind of whack to me um oh well i guess so whenever there's an event close by i try to go but if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe if you love halo and i will catch you in the next one peace